EQ is electric intelligence from Mercedes-Benz. It comes in the range in a few different flavours with EQ battery electric vehicles, EQ power plug-in hybrids, and what we're going to take a look at today, the EQ Boost mild hybrid system. EQ Boost is a mild hybrid system which runs on a 48 volt architecture. As well as having an integrated starter generator on all models which replaces the alternator and the starter motor, it runs ancillary components like the air conditioning compressor and the water pump. Anyone that knows me knows that I like engines and I like clever technology as well, so mix the two together, perfect. Whilst we're here, the six cylinder engine is fitted with nano slides. So these are nano particle coated cylinders which reduce friction and increase performance and also reduce power loss. The EQBoost motor itself is shown here. This is fitted directly to the engine between the block and the gearbox. Air enters into the engine in the normal way before heading towards the turbocharger and then into the combustion chambers. The six cylinder engines are also fitted with an electric compressor which can spool up in less time than it takes you to even think about blinking. What this means is there is no turbo lag, no delay in response whenever you require a little bit more schnell. Once the air has been compressed, it will head towards the combustion chambers. All of these EQ Boost engines feature direct injection, which improves performance as well as fuel economy. The overall result, reduced tailpipe emissions, increased performance as well as fuel economy, and the ability to harvest and use energy that it collects as you are driving. It's a really, really clever technology, and I personally find it fascinating. Because the engine doesn't need to run all of the components which are attached to it and it has the additional power and torque boost from the system, it allows the entire drivetrain to run more efficiently. More power gets sent from the engine through the box to the wheels. Now EQ Boost is not designed to run the car instead of the engine, it's there simply to help the engine. Think about it like this, with EQ Boost you boost power, boost torque and boost efficiency. One of the giveaways for a car having EQ Boost is a display which is just underneath the rev counter. This will look a little bit different depending on which model it is, but it operates in exactly the same way on all models, showing you whether the system is harvesting or using energy. As you're driving along, you will see this bar moving from left to right depending on what it is doing. Another giveaway is how EQ Boost engines sound when they start up. Because the engine uses EQ Boost to start, there's no cranking like you would usually hear on an unassisted engine when it fires up. And because this is a GLE 53, it does make a rather good noise. So, does an engine with EQ Boost feel any different to drive than a non-electrically assisted engine? No. And you don't need to change your driving style either, it is just working all the time in the background. It actually works a lot more than you may think. One of the things that you will definitely notice is initially when you're getting away from the lights, moving off the mark, it feels a bit smoother because the electric motor is delivering that extra power and that extra torque boost for you. The magic really starts to happen when you drop the car into eco mode through dynamic select. When you lift off the accelerator under certain circumstances and when you're not using cruise control, the engine can actually switch off during gliding mode in order to save even more fuel. I think personally it comes into its own when you are driving around town as EQ Boost allows for extended periods of stop start. So if you are in heavy traffic, the engine will be switched off for longer and overall you save more fuel on your journey. The more I think about it, the more it just starts to make sense. There's so much energy that gets wasted as noise or heat when you're slowing down. It just makes sense to harvest some of that and put it back to good use. Just remember though, EQBoost cars are not designed to run on the hybrid system alone. It is just there to help the engine perform better. EQ Boost, boost power, boost torque and boost efficiency. Since making its debut in the S-Class facelift of 2017, EQBoost engines have made their way across the model range. They also made their debut on the AMG 53 models, my favourite of which has got to be the CLS 53. EQBoost is one of the intelligent technologies which is helping to lower tailpipe emissions but also increase performance and improve the driving experience. It's something we're going to see a lot of as we head towards the future of sustainable mobility. 
I recently spent quite a few days with a car with EQBoost. It was actually this exact C200 Coupe, and if you've seen our videos before, you'll know that I do quite like this model. Anyway, the point is, I was getting a 30% improvement on my fuel economy on my commute, and I think that is quite impressive, especially considering this is a 1.5 litre petrol. Of course, EQBoost has already made its way into the Mercedes-AMG model range, making its debut on the 53s and now starting to appear on some 63 models. I cannot wait to try that with the V8. The way that this technology has been integrated so seamlessly into the drivetrain and the driving experience does make me start to wonder why hasn't it been standard fit technology for years now? To me, at least, it's a no-brainer being able to recover some of that energy that would otherwise be wasted whilst you're on the road and then use that again for a performance and a fuel economy boost when you need it. If I could retrofit it on my own M272 engine, I absolutely would in a heartbeat. Now, EQBoost has made its way across the Mercedes-Benz product range already, but just remember this when it comes to the technology. Boost power, boost torque, and boost efficiency with EQBoost. To find out more about the rest of the electrified range from Mercedes-Benz and Smart, including plug-in hybrids and fully electric vehicles, check out the videos which are on screen now. Do make sure to subscribe to our channel too, so that you don't miss a thing.